I'm Blaine Phoenix. And I'm not Blaine Phoenix. All right, and we are at PDW Super Ascension. Oh, yeah. Sweet Julius, the end of the last show. The Rustler returning to accept Hammer DDT's challenge for Majesty's oh Peak. Oh, God. Oh, Noah. Oh, yes. Shinku and Midori, hell in a cell. Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, well, first we got Hammer and Rustler at Majesty Peak. Now we got Shinku and Rustler. Can this event get any more chaotic? Shinku and Midori, yeah, this is not going to be pretty. Not for Midori. On the same not show. Hell in a Cell, one of the deadliest structures in all of professional wrestling. Oh, boy. Shinku's mind is practically always in hell. So that's practically saying, hey, Midori, come to my playground. Let's play. This is not good. I'm pulling up, oh. all, the, I'm pulling up all the bettings right now because I just want to see this shift. You know, I'm actually gonna make a bet myself. I'm literally gonna do it. I'm gonna pitch in. I mean, I'm gonna pitch in. You know, a couple thousand dollars for this. Oh my goodness! Let's well, do this. Oh geez. Well, here's Kokoro Era. She's ready for action tonight. I just, yeah, I wonder. We're who's... trying to recollect ourselves here. Oh. Why do I hear some old 1940s, 30s, whatever music playing? What is this? I don't know who the lady is. Oh. Yeah, who are you? Mary Poppins? Oh, no, Anastasia. Anastasia Falconeri. And you were just about to call her Mary Poppins. You, you should, like, not do that. That'll give us a copyright strike. But no, she is Anastasia Falconeri. Uh, here she is, uh, part Italian, part, uh, part English, British. Uh -huh. Come from England and likes the old timey classics. I'll say. And, uh, all right. Hats off to you, I guess. Shut up, Julius. <laughs> you know, you know that's what it was, right? Oh my God, look at this wrestling attire. She's straight out of the old age. The old era, Julius. We had a text saying, did Nana get lost again? Well, Nana's got uh, an arm lock here on Kokoro era to kick things off. Yeah! I gotta say, we got some, got some interesting debuts lately, apparently. And now, Kokoro looks like she turned it, turned it on her. Oh my goodness, hey, look at this wrestling here. Both working the arm. Now a side headlock for Kokoro Era. Here's the takeover. There's one thing I can tell you for sure. I hear that uh, she does not like to be called an old lady just because of the way that she dresses. Well, I wouldn't think so. Oh. There's a knee to the face. I guess the wrestling part's over. Now it's time to fight. Nope, Anastasia. Oh, wow, just right. flying, running cross body. Just used her body as a weapon there. That's not old timey. This is a ruse. All right, I guess it's not a ruse. Oh, nice neck breaker. Wait a minute, what the heck? Anastasia countered that into her own neck breaker or something. I thought Kokoro had that. Oh, uh, no. I hear England has its own bit of wrestling up there. Of course it does. But yeah, but like, she, I'm saying she got her experience from there. This is the first person we've had from England wrestling in PDW, Julius. I'm just saying that that's where she gets her uh, prowess from. I see. 
very technical match between these two so far as they're working the legs and the arms, it seems. Technical time to see if they can just tweak each other out here. Oh my god! Oh, oh no! She didn't get the air for that! Okay! It looked like uh, Anastasia just basically rolled out of the way as slow as possible. I don't even think she rolled. I just don't think Kokoro had the air for it, but uh, Kokoro trying to psych herself up with the crowd and get back into it. Nice arm drag. That would have been impressive if she hit it. Jawbreaker. No. Oh, jeez. This knee here, Kokoro seems to have Anastasia on the run, but now Anastasia. Oh. Oh. Unable to. Hit. Yeah, unable to get her out of the ring here as they fly. Oh, nice. Uh, Hurricanrana almost. Irish whip. Anastasia crucifix. Nice takedown. Climbing back into it here. Ooh. Said time that missed. Now with Kokoro. Oh man, she's oh! just not getting these high risk maneuvers. And now Anastasia just stomping away blow after blow here. Kokoro trying yeah, to fight yeah. back. Completely taking advantage of Kokoro's mistake. Indeed. Oh. Tech saying just a belly flopping. Northern Lights into the cover. Oh, one. Oh, that was oh. quick. <laughs> Annie is not about to lose her first match, sounds looks like. Annie, you've already got a nickname for her, huh? Ah, uh, well, you know, I'm not saying that full name the entire time, so... All right, well, that's fair. I mean, come on, Anastasia Falconeri, that's a mouthful. Anastasia's about to get blasted. Uh-oh. Is this enough to put her away? One, two... Yes, it is! Kokoro making short work of Annie, I guess, in her debut. My goodness. Lights out. Well, looks like a uh, little 19... I mean, looks like the 1940s ain't gonna cut it here at PDW. I don't know what she was even trying to think. I don't know, but uh, if she comes back, that'll be... Uh, that'll be interesting. We got, uh, we got some strange things around here, Julius. To the surprise of no one. Yep, it's, uh... Well, it's getting to be the standard. There's your winner, though, everybody. Oh, joy! It's the yeah. mayoral administration! The mayoral administration! We put these people in office, uh, y'all. You put them in their positions of power. We have the judge. Gabriel Brahman, and we have the police chief, Richard Bergman! Indeed. Well, the mayoral admins had uh, some kind of bad luck, some kind of good luck. I don't know. They're, they're always kind of up and down, really. Got a text saying, Gabe, use less hairspray in your beard next time. Dang. Why? why who uses hairspray in a beard? That is a full natural beard. <laughs> That's right, well, if it gets too natural, maybe uh, Wolfgang Steinberg would come out and hunt him, so... Uh-huh. You, you really want the puppy to come out and hunt the man. Maybe that's who they're fighting tonight. <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah, well, alright. How about the first ever PDW Tag Team Champions? Oh, oh boy. These two, these two superpowers... These oh, two boy. are superpowers. They are Dope. back. They are back and probably stronger than ever. These two titans. The double dozer. That's right. Heard they had to leave for a while because some masked bandits were running around Washington, D.C., but now they're back. 
Yep, uh, Max Bandits. Oh, <laughs> they they caught wind of some clowns. Indeed, we got a text saying perhaps Wrigley could do it. Wrigley do what? Take down Gabe or take down the puppy? I would hey. prefer you mean the puppy. <laughs> I was gonna say what's wrong with either option, but. Uh... I would, uh, I would not want to advocate uh, taking down our police chief. I, mean, I was going to say we usually see Cloaky the Bear with uh, Double Dozer, but uh... uh, yeah, we saw what happened to Cloaky the Bear. Who all remembers what happened to Cloaky the yeah, Bear? Yeah, Cloaky the Bear is um, he suffered some uh, heat stroke, let's say, and uh, perhaps Midori Ryukami at Majesty's Peak will also be suffering heat stroke inside Hell of a Cell, Hell in a Cell. Yeah. Heat stroke, everybody. Cloaky the Bear has suffered heat stroke. How about that? This is an interesting contest, though. I don't think the mayoral administration has ever fought Double Dozer, but uh, Richard Bergman right in there on Dozer Black with that uppercut. I'm surprised that the mayoral administration is even wanting to take on these two giants. Interestingly, the uh, Dozer's also waving that American flag on their attire, so perhaps this could come down to pride. Yeah, see, the, I mean, you got the local police chief, yeah, but these two, Dozer Black and Dozer Skull, they work for the government. Yeah, this is uh, an interesting mechanic, actually. So, so far, Dozer Black doing a great job of just grounding Richard Bergman. Richard now, they, and try and set something up. They wield some very heavy big guns too, because they they have to bring in the big guns to take out take down the heisters of Washington D.C. Oh man, and here we go. This could be one way that the mayoral admins deal with the dozers. Uh, yeah, take advantage. Take advantage of the outside. Put them on the outside and double team them. Richard doing some damage while Gabriel hangs out here. Making sure that Dozer Skull perhaps doesn't try to interfere and help his buddy. But man, these Dozers, remember they were in fact the first ever PDW Tag Champions. But the Flying okay. Roses lie in wait for their next challengers. They're probably scouting these tag team matches. I absolutely believe it. Ken Maction and Flame Shield, they've held those titles for a decent amount of time actually. Not only did they defeat Double Dozer to win those titles, but think about this, Julius. They've actually defeated the mayoral administration to retain those titles. Oh, boy. Yep. They whew, they went through a lot of opponents, and of course, they recently defeated the O Fortuna Gladiators to maintain those titles as well. That's right. Flying Roses, the team to beat. Richard Bergman has Dozer Black on his shoulders, Julius. How the flint does this work? Um, well, considering that Richard looks pretty ripped, you know, all that police work, he stays in shape. He he probably goes around catching a lot of bad guys. It finds oh, it a great way to stay yeah. in shape. And Dozer Black just Luthes pressed Richard Bergman, but Richard Bergman oh goes for the goes for the kick though. Dozer Black now on the apron. Climbs back into the ring, though. A little bit of uh, you, athletic showing for Dozer Black there, and it's a great way to stay in shape. You don't want to piss off Dozer Black, because I hear Dozer Black is actually the crazier of the two Dozers. Well, not the crazier. Just really, he's easily crazed. Hmm. Dozer Skull hides this uh, insanity more better, oh, but he does goodness. have a lot of it. Richard Bergman throwing him for that suplex. Hey, be careful. He might he might imagine a uh, clown mask on the good police chief here. Oh, God, don't put me. Yep. One thing you don't want to do is motivate these things. Nope. Oh, 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 whoa. Oh. Did he try to pick him up and he couldn't? I believe so. I think Dozer Black got the better of that exchange. Yeah, using his pure weight, all that armor. 
You know, I noticed Dozer's Skull doesn't get tagged in too often. Is, is Dozer's Skull kind of the backup plan here, or the, the saving grace, or the ultimate maneuver? Uh, probably a mix of all three, because I figure that, uh, once the Dozer Skull is here, that means the difficulty just got turned up a notch. We'll see. Well, Richard Bergman looking to give Dozer Skull a difficulty tweak here, but to no avail. Yep, things have got, got picked up to death, Wiss. Oh, dear. Oh, we've seen him do this stretch before, and it's just... Looks worse every time. Richard, though, somehow rolls his way out of it. That's impressive. Stack him up for that suplex. Oh, my God. Just sit out. Ooh. That, that has got to hurt the police chief back. He's reeling right now. Oh, boy. How did he get back on his feet? And he probably... Yeah, that was a mistake getting back on your feet so quickly. Oh, Should have rolled out of the wing. Okay, there yeah, you go. Well, he did. Richard, though, he's been cut off a few times trying to get these tags. Oh, my God. That's just raw strength there. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa! Oh, freaking nice European uppercut. Oh, my God. How do you, you even... Oh, oh, no. There's no... Arrested uh, development! Oh. Arrested development! My God! Mayoral Evans might one, have this one. Two. Oh, kick out two and a half. Not enough. Not enough. I got a text saying adrenaline's a heck of a drug, apparently. Oh, it no. Sure is. Uh oh. I think the. Do oh, wait. No, Richard. Richard kicking out. Oh, oh literally kicking his way out. How the heck is Richard Bergman finding the wherewithal to do this? He's got to get Gabriel in, though, because he's he's has to have expended all of his energy at this point. Yep, Gabriel is in. Speaking of which, hopefully it's time for uh, the Judge McGavel on the two government big shot agents. We just saw Dozer Skull get thrown in the air and get uppercutted on his way down. That, like, that's a PDW that, moment right there. That is the raw strength right there. Perhaps maybe Flame Shield underestimated the uh, likes of the good police chief. Well, he might have, but... Flame Shield is a champion, and uh, the police chief is not. That too. That is true. That is indeed true. Got a text saying the administration is tough, but double dozer don't go down easily. The hunters found that out the hard way, indeed. Oh, oh yeah, my goodness. Uh oh. Those are Skull now, looking to finish off Gabriel Brahman. Whoa! Oh wow! Hey. Oh, Richard Bergman trying to distract the referee here. Might get a late count out of this. One, two. And, oh, Gabriel kicks out now. Back and forth we go. We got another text saying all the armor might be more of a detriment than a benefit with the curb stomping they're getting in the cut. Oh, jeez. Oh, I like to ditch the green because uh, it takes a lot to put these guys away. Oh, my God. Gabriel just raked the, the, the visor. They take advantage here. Just repeated slugs to the... One, two... Got him! I see! Uh, he, he made... He must have put a hole in the, in, the, uh, in the visor and poked his fingers on through. Holy flip! Gabriel just laid him out! Jeez! He didn't even judge McGavel him! Yeah, he didn't. He just repeated blows to the mask, apparently. It was enough to rattle his brains. I, uh... I guess I have to say this is, uh, quite... Quite the win. Quite the random win, but a win is a win. Hey! It's... Time! But the disciplinary committee, Ninja Cleo Free! Indeed. Kid Comsari is still reeling after her. Well, her defeat at the hands of the Geminis, but Cleo Freed here to compete for the disciplinary committee. That's right. Time to avenge the loss of your friend. 
Oh man, Cleo Freed, what an effort she put on in the tag crown. Actually, the disciplinary committee, of course, the runner-ups to that tag crown before we before we realized that... Uh, it was yeah. all a wounds. Yeah, well. Well, Cleo here. She uh. Make a statement. Let's see what she's got. Wait, you don't yep. you don't think? Uh, Should have. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. The, oh this is, no. They 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 yeah. Two two belts, two goddess belts. Oh no. Are we doing this again with Cleo this time? There's no. Cleo. Oh. Cleo, Cleo better whoop their ass. The uh, dual goddess champion, the Gemini's. Here they are, everybody. And it looks like finally they're just. It looks like they finally just abandoned the Artemis title, and now they've both got. Uh... I'm still trying. I, I would still really like to know why this is being allowed, but. You know, because we could just easily make this attack. I mean, I don't think Car is doing anything tonight. Carnelia could just. Uh. They they made they made it like this. So because it's a single, it's still a singles belt, but because they're both the goddess title, the way they want it, that's how we ended up in this situation. Cleo oh, going oh, right the... for Safira because she knows that Safira is the cause of this, but. Yeah, this is uh, Sophia's fault because he turned in the gut, the ornament belt underneath our noses. I mean, how? Oh, Jesus. Pet saying with Cornelia, can't someone help her? Apparently, I mean, but this is a part of the stupid rules. Cleo has to subject herself to uh, a beating from these. To numb nuts. Yeah, Cleo had the advantage, but she took her eye off Safira for a moment, and that's basically the MO of the Gemini strategy as of late, is that if one of them gets taken down, there's no way they can have eyes in the back of their head to withstand the attack from the other one. We saw this happen to Saya Mugino last week. Oh, look at Cleo, though, kipping up and getting the Huracan, and now Ruby is distracted. If Cleo could easily put away... Oh, oh tries throwing her into Ruby, but if no avail. Cleo had the right idea. Oh! Oh, no. God dang it! Oh, she just released that cover. Just to taunt her. Got a text saying maybe Don will take it back whenever he's brave enough to come out of his office. Oh, jeez. Well, the last time Don tried to hide into his office, Shinku Nensho found him. Got another text saying, first thing Mace will do and he... Takes over GM after beating Don. I didn't realize that match was for the GM ship, is it? I know it's no holds barred, but... Huh. But I highly doubt that even allowed. There's no way! There's just no way! And besides, back to this match, Cleo's oh. hanging on the rope. Oh, come on! Hanging on by a thread more like it. Oh, wait a minute! Cleo come here. Come on, Cleo, fight God, back! Dang it. Just she gets so winded trying to fight both of them off. You have no energy to even counter. Got another text saying, so if the only way to beat the Geminis is to beat them a 2v1. Is there anyone in PDW who could challenge them for the title? Maybe Sinna. Well, nobody knows oh, where Sinna is even. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Are you people seriously asking for Sinna Bond to come back? Because, well, we know how prideful Kitcom is, and she's still got that rematch clause, but I don't know. Have you heard word? Is she cashing in that rematch clause? Um, I, if, to be honest, I haven't really got a chance to hear much from her because she, she actually was a bit, she was feeling bad that she actually got blindsided so easily like this by these two, by the Geminis. Not realizing that the entire tag open was just a ruse for her title. Yeah, well, they pulled a fast one on everybody. We thought they were just trying to prove they were the only true women's tag team, but 
Safira had that freaking Artemis belt at the back of her hand and and it turned out instead of being the only true uh, tag team they are the goddess evidently but Cleo now looking to take down the goddess Cleo now going to work on Safira, but again, Rubia from behind. There's just any chance you have, you have to have them both down somehow. Like, really, honestly, I figure if Kit is even going to think about cashing in her rematch clause, she's got to think of a real good strategy to deal with these two. There's yeah. no way she's going to be able to take two on, I mean, take both of them down. Not easily. Yeah, I mean, she's a Mimi and she can copy strategies pretty well, but there's no real way you can copy a two-on-one assault. No, oh. she can't float herself. God, disaster that, that kick to the work. side of the head. Yeah, Safira just mocking her now while Rubia does the work. Here's the clutch. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <sighs> Come on. I don't know, Cleo. 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 Yeah. No. No. no! Oh, God. Cleo! I, think, I think they pulled her. <laughs> I don't know if they pulled her arm out of the socket or what, but that doesn't look pretty. We better get some help out here. Oh, God dang it. Oh, my goodness. No. Ugh. Oh, that oh, that doesn't look good from this angle, Julius. You better go do I, something. Yep, I'm gone. I'm gone. Oh, my God. Yeah, you probably don't want to put the camera on that. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, the G Gemini is just... Jesus, dude. Well, all right. Um, yeah, they uh, they won. Hooray! Yeah, all right. We'll be right back, everybody. Julius is gonna. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna go help Julius as well. All right. Well, welcome back, everyone. Oh, is this Angler? I believe so. That's yep. the only one I know of with that music. Well, here comes Collection Agency member Angra. Uh, wonder what, who he's here to compete against. It's a little odd to see him. And is Zach with him or no? I don't see Zach. No, I don't see Michael Draven either. Usually who's one of them's with him. Why does not have the other two? I don't know. Well, remember at that four v four, Anger got some big pinfalls. So maybe now he's out here to try and compete to. I don't know, I guess reach the level of Michael Draven and Zach Abbott because everybody's talking about Michael Draven winning that Majesty's Peak, of course, and Zach Abbott is the global champion. Yeah, he probably need he probably needs to earn some prestige for himself. But of course now if Draven cashes in this title shot for the tag titles at Majesty's Peak, the Flying Roses could be in trouble. Oh! Ew, boy, this man right here. Can well, now I... I think I know why Angra's out here. I don't think Zach Abbott sent him. I think Don Macchio sent him. Don Macchio probably wants more people to stop this enraged man known as Mace Atlas. Yeah, we're getting closer to Majesty's Peak, everybody. I think Don Macchio realized that the only way he's going to have a chance here is if he can get somebody to wear out Mace. Because, I mean, that thing is no holds barred at Majesty's Peak. There's not going to be anything stopping the rage of Mace Atlas against the general manager. Oh, boy. So now Angra going right after him. Electric chair drop. Kicked him in the chest, too. Jeez. Oh, wow, Mace right back to his feet, and now Mace just popping off that Huracurana. These two no strangers to each other, with Mace Atlas's uh, documented history against the collection agency. But maybe Don Macchio figured that would be his best shot. You do grab somebody who knows Mace Atlas very well. Maybe they got a better chance of defeating him. As a matter of fact, I do believe Angra has one pinfall victory over Mace Atlas at some point in time. He does, and so that's why the Don decided, hey, you can take him out. Do your job. Someone in our uh, texts chanting for Mace Atlas. Angry going for a quick cover here. I if they're going to be chanting, I mean, chanting for this guy. But no, uh, you got it. You got it. You cannot count Angler out. You just can't. I mean, look I'm, at the size of this man. Angler fairly is, large. Zach Abbott's 
had to have hired him for some reason. Yeah, he hired him for his height, his strength, his prowess. The guy has, he actually has some talent himself. Zach Abbott saw something in him that no one else did. And he hired him because he's a yes man as well. He is not a yes man. Well, I don't know, that collection agency, they pretty much just do whatever Zach Abbott wants, so. Well, he's the boss, he, he paying them well. Zach Abbott you always creeping around the arena, I guess. You're getting like a couple thousand dollars in your pocket every day. Got a text saying, I've heard that Don has been hitting the gym lately, but it might be too little too late. I do remember seeing Don Macchio with a towel. It was filled with sweat. I don't know if he was actually working out, though. It might just be he realizes his match is coming up. You actually... <laughs> when did you see him at the gym? I didn't say I saw him at the gym. I just said I saw him with a towel. Close enough. Anger to the top rope here. Mace Atlas rolls out of the way. Puts a little hurting on him. Going for a cover here? I guess so. All right. Maybe he decided to go to UCW, the freaking developmental circuit of PDW. Because uh, he's sure going to need to know a thing or two about wrestling if he's to take on a man like Mace Atlas. Oh, goodness. Yeah, got another text saying every boss needs a yes man, and we know Michael Draven's not a yes man. I guess, yeah, I'm, I'm, I suppose we know that, yeah. Draven and Anger have both with, been with Zach Abbott since the very beginning. Actually, Draven and Anger have been together just slightly longer than that. As I recall, they just decided to become a tag team one day because Don Macchio was looking for tag teams. Yeah, he wanted to fill the tag team division with teams. And, well, we have been getting some new teams as of late. Indeed. And here's a tonic for Mace Atlas on Angra. Oh, Angra with a kick out right around two, though. Angra and Mace actually have been going back and forth here as we've been discussing things. Yeah, I told you, you cannot count this man out. Oh. Anger getting a near fall. Oh, and he plants Mace Atlas. We saw him get a couple victories at uh, breakdown over this move here. One, two. Oh, but Mace rolls Not his enough. shoulder. This man here, though, he he made an impressive showing at that 4v4 match. He did. And Mace Salas looking for the Destinies. Oh, and pops Whoa. off into a cover. Oh, one, two. Oh, Angra. Out. Man, freaking oh. Destinies out of nowhere. Oh, he just missed that freaking moon song. Oh, choreographed that one, did Angra. Going into round two here. Well, more like round three, so. Oh, trio, ah, trio woe. Trio woe, yeah. Oh, got a foot in his neck. Ah. Ch trying to knock the wind out of oh. Mace Atlas. Mace Atlas knocks, trying to turn things around. Indeed, nice. A oh, couple standing shooting star presses. Jeez. He is just flying on him. I don't, think, I don't think we're going to be seeing Don Mackey or do what? any of these moves. <laughs> Dude, no. Oh, oh, absolutely not. I mean, with all due respect to a general manager, a high flyer, he is not. Yeah, I mean, maybe by the time Mace Atlas makes his entrance, Don Mackey will have enough speed charged up for a punch or something. Oh, he like, kicked to the side he's... of the head. The man doesn't look like he worked out at all. I mean, he probably he probably has his elite bounds do all the fighting for him. <laughs> I got a text saying, is this the KISS concert? Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Got another one saying all Don will do is a belly flop. Well, I mean, that would be a pretty effective move if Don Macchio did it. We can call oh, it the flying do donut. Oh, he could he, he'd do a belly flop if he got Russian leg sweep. Oh, man. There's the stunner for Mace Atlas, one of his favorites. Stunner... The classic stunner they've been doing. Cover off the wheelbarrow stunner. One, two. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Last oh. minute kick out. 
My goodness, Michael Jordan. I mean, not Michael Jordan. Angler, Angler, Angler. Oh man, oh. I don't think Angler's I gonna be too happy that you mixed him up with Michael Draven. I can't believe I did it myself. <laughs> the athletes oh. right now. Oh, second, second again. set of destinies. One, two, and he got him. The destinies, the conquerors again. May Salas for the victory, but that was a hard-fought battle by both gentlemen, actually. It was a hard-fought battle, and I ended up calling Angler Michael Javen. Oh, boy. <laughs> no, yeah, no sign of Zach Abbott or Michael Draven, though, so... Maybe they're backstage planning Michael Draven's announcement for that Majesty's Peak. Yeah, the pl maybe planning the downfall of May Atlas. Like, if he, if he would have cashed in... That would make uh, Mace Atlas even more weaker or something. You know, something. Do some sort of weird triple threat. <laughs> uh, I got a text saying Angra's stock falls so much, Julius forgets his name. Dang. Shut up! And it's time for our main event of the evening. Who we got here? And they're making us wait. Oh, oh. Wait. Here he comes! Now uh, that explains where the uh, rest of the... Oh wait, no, Draven's still not here, but... Well, here comes the global champion! Yep! It is time for Zach Abbott, global champion! Coming in on his ATV! Indeed, Zach Abbott doing some micromanaging lately, I guess. You know, now that his sister's here... Michael Draven backstage, of course, with the Majesty's Peak contract. He can cash in for any title match he wants. Perhaps Zach Abbott out here to announce their pitch for the tag titles or something. Tag titles, yeah. Oh, boy. The infinite, I mean, the, the freaking collection agency versus the Flying Roses. That'd be a heck of a match. Yeah, really? I don't think they fought each other either, have they? No. No, huh. absolutely not. All right, got a text saying someone paid him for his fuel, and here's another one saying, "Quick, shoot out the fire or the tire." Oh, oh no, he's down here to compete. Okay, I uh, I see Santa Sturgeon. Santa Sturgeon is here to fight against the global champion. Wow. Oh. And you said he was the fighting champ. No, I do have to give Zach Abbott. He's been around more often than Midori was during his title reign. Hey, Zach Abbott is a street fighter. Zach Abbott is the man. He ain't gonna run from no fight. Yeah, we were just talking about Mace Atlas's history with the collection agency. Well, Santa Sturgeon, a very similar style to Mace Atlas. I wonder if uh, that gives Zach Abbott an advantage or if that's just gonna play a little mind game with him. Probably. Text, All I know is text, that this man... What? Text asking if Zach's going to steal her presents. Oh, he should. Geez. He should. Oh, Y'all owe him some presents and money. Well, here we go, I guess. Zach Abbott, of course. Oh, doing a little slide there, I guess. I don't know what that was about, but here we go. Now just throws Santa down to start this thing. Well, thing I can tell you right now about Zach Abbott, though, that street fighting history teaches you to not to run from your battles. I mean, Indeed. sure, you do whatever it takes to win your fights, but you don't run from no fight. A text asking what debt did Zach put on Santa to result in this beatdown match. And yes, it would be what debt did Zach put Santa in. I'm sure Santa wouldn't borrow any money from this guy. Oh, he probably did it. He, he didn't remember, oh. you know. Bulldog. Got another text saying, I owe Zach nothing. Oh, well, uh, he might sure. he might suddenly decide that you owe him something and come after you. So be careful, texter. This man Whoa, is not exalted. Oh, quick, quick cover. Two. That was one, Julius. Close, but no cigar. I'll take that cigar out your mouth. All right. Oh, geez, just a straight shot to the face. Looks like he, de he used to decking anybody that out in the streets. You know, I have to say that 
You know, I'm sure Zach Abbott's ready for a party because the collection agency is on fire lately. They've oh, got some, yeah, they some huge victories. He's got that title. Michael Draven with the title shot. Collection Whoa. agency could be slowly, uh, slowly creeping up on a takeover here. Yeah, they could easily take over PDW if they wanted to. Heck, maybe the uh, the only title that'll be left is the actual general manager title. Yes, I will consider it. I don't even want, <laughs> even want to think about Zach Abbott being the freaking general manager of PDW. I might have to take a step outside if that happens. Oh, take, speaking of taking a step outside. Yeah, Santa Sturgeon's going to have to take a little trip himself. Zach Abbott calling for him to get up. What are you setting up for? I don't know. Let's check it out. Oh, axe handle to the outside. Got a text saying, uh, no wonder Julius loses so much on betting he can't even count. Oh, dang. Hey, I know how to count just fine. I just got a little flustered, you piece of crap. Yeah, another one saying, does Zach have an opponent for Majesty's Peak? Indeed, the global champion set to, de set to defend at Majesty's Peak, but there's no sign of a number one contendership match yet. We just know that he's supposed to be defending. Yeah, he sits on his throne of money waiting for the challenger to, co to come and face him. Oh, for God's sake, he sits on that freaking ATV enough. all day. Where is that ATV? What, does he just pay someone to take it out of here after he comes down? Yeah, he pays somebody to do it. Oh, for God's they sake. Probably, and if they uh, mess it up in any way, they're going to owe him for it. Well, Zach Abbott's not going to be riding on Easy Street much longer. Because we're going to find out his opponent at Majesty's Peak at some point. Oh, he just might end up... Oh, freaking yeah, Santa, Santa doing Sturgeon. his stupid dances. Well, you know, if Santa can pin the champion here, maybe Santa Sturgeon will just be the number one contender. I can't imagine a guy like Santa Sturgeon being good enough to take on a popular street fighter like Zach Abbott. And Santa's just taking Zach Abbott back to the outside here. We're brawling. You sure you really want to do this, Mr. Uh... Mr. Sturgeon. Well, Texter's right. Zach wouldn't really spend money on other people, so probably wouldn't be the general manager. <laughs> Referee up to a count of six here. Hang on a second. Um. Oh, well, Zach puts him back in. Zach now, sidewalk slam. Oh! I don't tweak the back of old Santa Sturgeon there. Oh, and here's uh, this ground and pound attack that Zach Abbott loves to employ. Got a text saying Zach Abbott is on Santa's naughty list. Indeed, he is. And I'm sure Santa yeah. would love to be on the global championship list. Oh, here's a half. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, no. Referee and uh, Zach in the ropes, rather. Zach is going to beat the naughty list out of him. Well, so far he's down. Wait a minute, twisted, twisted surgery! Oh, he landed it. It connected. Hang on a second, Zach in trouble here. The twisted surgery just connected. One, two. Oh, kicked out at two and a half. Oh, not enough to put away the global champion. Twisted surgery, though, that was a close one. Yeah, if Zach ate that pinfall, I know we're looking at a number one contender here. So, champion's got to get back on his feet and do something about this. What are we doing now? Springboard off the... Oh, flying crossbody. Santa Sturgeon right now. Putting on a clinic against the champion. Oh, but, uh... Well, you know, we opened our mouth, so... Oh, wait a minute. Looking for the check bounce. Uh, yeah. Check, check bounce, bounce and we go. Oh, my God! He countered it! He, he dodged! Didn't dodge this headlock, though, but Santa Sturgeon avoided fate. He's holding up. He's probably hoping to choke out uh, Santa, but Santa's already standing up, fighting out of it. Oh my god. Snapmare now. Oh, but Zach Abbott counters. Well, the champion, not one to be upset. Well, you know, pinfall wise, you know. Psychologically, I think he's always upset, but. Hey, you kind of have to be on your A game. Look at everybody as an enemy. <laughs> Got a text saying Zach put too much bounce into that check bounce. 
What's the problem with that? Oh. He didn't check himself before Santa wrecked him. Here's a cover. Oh, oh boy. Wait. Ooh. Okay, good. Man, that was he, close. He didn't get pit, he didn't get put away. Another text saying Shinku Zack isn't. I don't think Zack wants to be Shinku. Oh! Wait, was that Wait, another it's... twisted surgery? I think so. That was the second He's twisted surgery. One. Santa Sturgeon, no! Kick out! Zach Abbott is not giving up! Oh my... He is not gonna quit! He ain't gonna quit! Santa Sturgeon's actually giving the champion a fight here! And there's no collection agency members out here! Yeah, Anglin was just taken out by Mace! Zach might actually be in trouble here! Santa Sturgeon! Missile drop kick! Oh, boy. Oh, Zach slides hey. out. Oh, inverted DDT. Oh, man. Santa almost got one on the global champ here. Luthez press again. Yep, keep punching him. He's got to beat down on him. Zach, this might... Oh, check bounce. Yep, check bounce. And just like that. I think the global yep. champion might have this one. Yep, uh, here we go. One, two, uh, yeah. three. Ah, yeah. That was one heck of an effort, though. Oh, my, my God. I thought Santa Sturgeon might actually upset the champion there. Uh, well, yep. Now Zach's just going to... Take a dollar. And just stuff it in his mouth. Yeah, here comes Draven. Might as well help. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! 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 Hold on! Hold on! What is What the Draven? heck? What is Draven doing? Draven! What? Draven! That's your boss! No way! Draven! Draven, no! You're beating up your own boss! That's your boss! There's no Draven, way! Champion Zach Abbott, that man had paid you so well, and you betray him like this. Michael Draven's been in the employ of Zach Abbott since I can remember. Julius, he's setting him up. No, what are you doing? He's setting him up. What are oh. you doing? Oh, oh my God. Is my he? What happened? What happened? Michael Draven! Draven, why? Julius. Why did you do this to Zach? Did Draven just... Did Draven just make his pitch for His Majesty's Pete cash him? You mean to tell me he wants to fight his employer, Zach his... Abbott, for the global title? I think that might be what he just told us by attacking Zach Abbott. Michael Draven could I'm, perhaps be challenging for the global title. I'm Blaine Phoenix. And I'm Julius Stabler. Oh my goodness. We'll see you on the next episode of Ascension. Uh-huh.